Hi all, today's video is about my Rameshwaram and Madurai trip. Journey started from Bangalore during night. There are many places to visit in Rameshwaram and Madurai, but we plan to visit few places according to our stay and our stay was for one night and two days and the journey was in October month. Below are the places we plan to visit in Rameshwaram and Madurai. Rameshwaram Temple, Ram Shetu, Dhanushkori, Bibishan Temple, Abandoned Town in Dhanushkori, Lakshmi Temple in Madurai. So my journey started around 10 p.m. from Bangalore and we hired a cab for the complete tour and paid 25k for that. That person was somehow known to us. That's why he charged bit less comparatively. But I won't suggest to start any journey during night time as per my experience as it could be risky. So we were six elder people and two kids. Reached Rameshwaram on day one. It took around 12 hours for us to reach Rameshwaram. The distance between Bangalore and Rameshwaram is 600 plus km approximately. Hotel was not booked online as we didn't go during peak time so we thought there won't be any problem to find a good hotel. But unfortunately even the driver was not familiar with that place. So we searched for one hour and finally found a hotel which we can say okay near to temple. We took rest and around 5 pm started our journey for temple. We stayed there for around 3 hours and then came back to room. Had our dinner and then took a nice sleep, of course. Now about Rameshwaram Temple. Rameshwaram Temple is also known as Sri Ramanatha Swami Temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. This temple is famous for its collection of lingas which were made up of sand, salt, stone and other elements. According to stories, there were around 112 ponds here out of which only 12 are left. Also there are 22 wells inside the temple which is having holy water. And each well is having its own story. We took holy water from all the 22 wells. Journey to Dhanushkori on day 2. We got up early, finished our work and started for Dhanushkori, the border between Sri Lanka and India. We stayed there for 3 hours approximately and enjoyed the beauty of Bay of Bengal merging with Indian Ocean. It was so relaxed over there. We tried to see Ram Shetu. Using binocular, also we paid for that, but frankly speaking, could not able to see anything. Took many pictures and then returned from Dhanushkori. While returning, we took a halt to see abandoned village. Went to a small temple there uh, where we, we saw a piece of rock belonged to Ramsetu as per the localite. We touched that, but strange thing, that stone did not drown. Then we left that place and moved ahead for Bibishan temple. Now about abandoned village. The village was destroyed during the 1964 Rameshwaram cyclone. Still visitors are coming to see the remains of Dhanushkori railway station, church, etc. If you see, few pictures are attached as reference. Rock, temple and the border between India and Sri Lanka. Bivishan Temple and Pamban Bridge visit on day 2. Bivishan Temple is located at a distance of 14 to 15 kilometers approximately from Rameshwaram. The temple is the only historical structure to survive the 1964 cyclone. The temple has the deities of Rama, Sita, Lakshman, Hanuman and Vishan. It is surrounded by sea. We stayed there for around 2 hours, enjoyed the beauty of the sea, worshipped the deities in the temple, had ice cream, soda and different kinds of cold beverages, as was very hot by that time. Then returned to room, did check out and left for Madurai. On the way, we saw Pamban Bridge. Took a break and of course clicked few pictures, then started our journey again. Now about Paman Bridge. It was India's first sea bridge and was the longest sea bridge in India till 2010. Also till 1988, the Paman Bridge was the only surface transport that connected Tamil Nadu's island of Rameshwaram to the mainland India. On 23rd December 2022, due to continuous warning signal, transportation on the bridge suspended permanently. Now Lakshmi Temple visit in Madurai on day 2. Madurai to Rameshwaram is around 173 km. In the evening around 5 pm we reached Lakshmi Temple also called Meenakshi Aman Temple. The temple is so big and we were so curious to know the whereabouts of it. So we hired a guide by spending 500 rupees. But unfortunately that day the crowd was so huge comparatively and so was the queue. Though we went in special darshan queue. After 2.5 hours of struggle with two small babies, finally we got Darshan of Ma Lakshmi. Though Darshan was for few seconds, but all our tiredness vanished that moment. After that, we saw a few sections of the temple. 
but then we were so tired and unable to visit rest of the section due to complete day travel could not able to take any picture as mobile was left outside of the temple finally we said bye to the guide to madurai and started our journey for bangalore now about menakshi temple according to legend king maladwaja and his wife kanchan malai performed their yagya seeking a son for succession instead a daughter was born out of the fire who was already 3 years old shiva intervened and said that the parent should treat her like a son the girl grew up the king crowned her as the successor she took her true form of minakshi when she met shiva the marriage of minakshi and shiva was a grand event with all gods and goddesses that's it from my side thank you please like and subscribe my channel